What's going on everyone? Today we'll be doing a Java comparator tutorial. So we'll be going over what, why, how, and then a little demo about it. So by the end of the tutorial, you should uh, be able to understand. Okay, so what is a Java comparator? It's basically used to sort custom objects in Java. So let's say you have a list of objects and you want to sort that, sort them in a unique way. You'll, you'll uh, implement the int compare method on the comparator interface. And I'll get into uh, what that means. So it's basically sorting objects. Okay, so why would we want to do this? I touched on this a little bit. So sometimes we need to sort objects in like a list or a tree map or other data structures in a custom way. So it's not just, you know, integers can be sorted easily with like list.sort uh, method. But let's say we have a list of objects. How do we sort that in a custom way? So that's what Comparator can give us. Uh, so here's some examples. So example is, let's say we have a person object. I have an age, other people have ages. So how do we sort people by age? So that's one thing that Comparator can help us with. And then another example would be sorting objects by time. Let's say there are maybe log objects or I don't know, order objects. And we want to display them uh, sorted by time. So that might be something that Comparator can also help us with. All right, so let's look at the how. So how does it work? So we basically need to implement the int compare method on the comparator interface. So comparator is an interface in Java and it has a bunch of methods that we need to implement. So when we implement those, then uh, Java will know how to sort these objects in a custom fashion. <clears throat> so you see here uh, the return criteria from the int compare, because you're probably wondering why it's returning an int. So let's say we're given two ages, my age, and someone else's age in a person object, right? So there's an age field in there. So we'll return zero, this first criteria here, uh, if both of the objects are equal. So let's say my age and someone else's age, they're being compared and they're equal. So then we'll return value zero. So the second line there, a value is less than zero, then uh, that means the first object, O1, is less than O2. So then that means O1 is smaller than O2. And then the third one, uh, a value is greater than zero. Then uh, we return a value greater than zero. So an integer greater than zero is so like one or above that. So this was taken straight from the Java doc. <laughs> and, uh, that's uh, the definition there, so we'll get to an example there, see what that uh, looks like. Okay, so let's get into the demo. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, go for there. Okay, so here we are in the person example uh, class, and I'll share this code with you. Uh, let me close this real quick. So what I've done here is create a person class. So let's go to this person here. So just a very simple class here. Uh, string name and int age. So these are the two instance variables that are part of this person. And I have a simple constructor here that initializes the name and the age. So you're required to pass in those two fields to initialize the object. And then I have a two string method here so we can print out the results and it, it looks nice. Great. So now what we want to do is sort uh, a number of person objects by age. And we're going to dump all of those into a list. So I have a main program here. I've created five persons, all with different names and different ages. As you can see, they're not sorted right now the way I've done it. And when I declare a list and put all of these ages, or sorry, all these persons into a list, they are not sorted. So they're one, two, three, four, five, but the ages are not sorted, right? So we'll get 32, 64, 31, so forth. So the first question, can we sort this by age? So if I just run this real quick, you'll see that it does not come back in a sorted fashion. So if you look down here, it comes in the order in which I have initialized or inserted them into the list, right? So we have Jane comes first, then Ray, then Mike. Okay, so how do we sort these? So what we just learned about is using Comparator. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Uh, probably the most straightforward way, kind of pre-Java 8 way, is to implement a another class here, 
with the comparator being implemented here and then we override that compare method and then we do all the logic in his inside here so this is a separate class that's just called person age comparator and we pass in the first person and then the second person so java does this behind the scenes right so we're just telling java what to do and how to compare these because java has no idea which should come first person one or person two so then what we do is just do a simple integer compare with the age, right? So this compare method uh, does exactly what we want here. It returns zero if they're equal and less than zero if they're not, or if it's less than and then greater than zero if uh, it's greater than the, the second object here. So this does exactly what we want. It'll, it'll sort it for us, but Java doesn't know how to do that. So we have to tell Java to use this comparator, right? So then let's see which example I had. I think it's this one. So list.sort, right? So typically if we just have uh, a number of integers, we can just do list.sort uh, list like that, right? And it'll sort it. But what we need to do is pass in a comparator because this sort method takes a comparator. So we pass in this new comparator object that we have here that has this logic of how to sort it. And then let's see if this works. Uh, then I do a run here. And we can look at before sorting. Okay, Jane is first, and it looks like after sorting here. Now person John, age 23. Awesome. And it looks 31, 32, 37, 64. So that is sorted uh, in ascending order. Okay, and then another kind of fancier uh, way to do this that you know hides a little bit of the logic, right, is uh, using the the comparing int method here. So I believe this is, yeah, since uh, Java 8. But basically it takes a function and passes in a lambda. So we pass in the age. So this is basically implementing uh, this uh, method here, but just in a, a more shorthand way. So it says comparing int, uh, we pass in the function What's the function? It's uh, this lambda function of uh, comparing the age. Whoops. And then what we can do is now just use this inline lambda uh, comparator and pass it into the sort function, which is exactly the same thing as what we're doing over here, but just a, a lot shorter handed way, right? Like it's just one line instead of declaring a class and doing all of that. So, all right, so if I run this, then we should get the exact same results here. So here it is. So there's two different ways, uh, kind of a demonstration of how we can sort custom objects uh, using Comparator. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.